It's Bellator 25 from the Chicago Theater in Chicago, Illinois. We open with our third women's 115 pound tournament quarterfinal, Jessica Penne versus Zoila Frosto. And the story of that first round, Zoila Frosto, big, strong, physical. Jessica Penne trying to stay close, user grappling. Frosto using her angling footwork, trying to turn into a kickboxing match. But And the winner, Zoila Frosto, that first round, able to find a range, land some strikes. Round number two, more of the same. I was impressed by the footwork of Zoila Frosto, always angling, always aggressive, and at the end of these clinches, always throwing punches in bunches. Jessica Penne trying to stay close, but never able to get her takedown going. Tried to turn it into a ground match. That just didn't happen, almost all kickboxing. Round number three, Penne tried to turn it up. She had to know she was down on the scorecards, but Zoila Frosto, so powerful, so quick, so athletic. Penne once again forced to play the stand-up game with the bigger, stronger Frosto. Also against the cage, Frosto aggressive, always moving forward, but never able to land the knockout shot, a unanimous decision. Zoila Frosto victorious and through to the semifinals. Next up, a Bellator special feature fight in the welterweight division, Brad Blackburn versus Dan Hornbuckle. An extremely entertaining fight in the first round. Brad Blackburn moving forward, trying to get inside the range of the much, much taller Dan Hornbuckle. A quick takedown and bang, beautiful right hand by Brad Blackburn. He followed up well. You see here, Dan Hornbuckle pushing him off. And at this point, it was all kickboxing. In the first round, the more accurate kickboxer was Blackburn. Punches and bunches, good combinations, and finding the range to keep Hornbuckle the end of his punches. Round two, Hornbuckle able to master the distance a little bit more effectively, finding a home for that right hand, his lead hand, and that straight left. Also, a couple of body kicks, but this one led to a groin strike. Tough, tough shot, but Hornbuckle able to come back and once again land effective strikes, and he finished off the round very, very aggressively. I think that won him the second round, very aggressive at the end. That sticks in the minds of the judges. Round number three, once again, all kickboxing. This time, Dan Hornbuckle able to take advantage of the fact that Brad Blackburn's feet were slowing down. End of the round, Blackburn not able to move forward as effectively, and Hornbuckle able to pick him apart with hands and feet. Great job kickboxing by Dan Hornbuckle. Physical, aggressive, didn't give up any takedowns. Beautiful job by Dan Hornbuckle. Dan Hornbuckle victorious over Brad Blackburn by way of unanimous decision. Then it was Bellator's second heavyweight tournament quarterfinal, Scott Barrett versus Damian Grabowski. And it was the rustling of Scott Barrett versus the striking of Grabowski. First round, Barrett pulling forward. They call him the bear for a reason. Short, stocky, and aggressive. Beautiful double leg here, taking down the Polish fighter. Grabowski, to his credit, very good off his back, very active in the guard. That's very rare for a heavyweight, but Barrett would not be denied with his takedown. Always a second and third effort, and that is the mark of an outstanding wrestler. But Barrett able to keep it close, stifling the striking of Grabowski. Round number two, Barrett came out looking to do the same shooting from the outset. When he couldn't get the takedown, still pulling forward, keeping Grabowski up against the cage, and bang, another great double leg. On top, Barrett didn't do a lot of damage. I think he was a little shook by the aggressive guard of Grabowski. Got his hooks in, flattened Grabowski out. Nine times out of 10, that's the end of the fight, but Grabowski, Still mobile, would not be denied. Actually finished the round on top. A really strong finish in the second round by the man who had the Polish crowd way, way behind him. Round number three, Barrett not able to get his takedown working and Grabowski just teeing off with strikes. Lefts and rights, you can almost see the frustration on Grabowski's face that he couldn't finish Barrett. Barrett got a takedown in the last minute, but that third round, all Grabowski. Unanimous decision win for Damian Grabowski in his Bellator and U.S. debut versus Scott Barrett. And finally, Bellator's third heavyweight tournament quarterfinal, Rogen Uret versus Cole Conrad. You know, Cole Conrad, no surprise here, bullying in, looking for the takedown from the opening bell. And 
Well, Jen Uret, the, the jiu-jitsu black belt, Abu Dhabi veteran, not able to get his submission game going against the much bigger, much stronger, more aggressive wrestler. Found himself on his back a lot, never really threatened with any submissions in that first round. Cole Conrad, using his strikes really to set up the takedown, not trying to land too much on his feet, but pulling forward and pushing <laughs> Rogen Uret to the ground. Uret, to his credit, tried to get his guard working, but never threatened. Cole Conrad finishing the fight strong, but methodical, a unanimous decision win for Cole Conrad. Cole Conrad through to the semifinal round.